Hey, what's up everybody? Chris from Teching It Out here. And in this video, we're going to look at how setting how to set default programs in Windows 10 made simple and easy for you. With a variety of different file types and the various apps to open them, setting default programs in Windows 10 is actually quite easily now in comparison to the previous versions of Windows in the past. However, what happens if you install a program that automatically sets itself as the default program? to open a type of file and you want to change it back. Or maybe you're not a fan of the default program set in Windows 10 to begin with and you want to change it to suit your preferences. Either way, we can show you how to do that here with ease. So without further ado, first we need to get to the settings area. So what you want to do is left click on the start button in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. Click on settings. Now you will actually have one that says settings mine is just an icon because I'm on a insider preview build so when you click on settings you're gonna get like so and we're gonna open up settings and then you wanna look for system and you're gonna left click on system and you're gonna scroll down on the left hand side and you're gonna see this little option that says default apps left click on default apps and you're going to get this like this. We're going to full screen this so everybody can see it properly. And now, now that we're in here, uh, picking the default apps you want, you'll notice that you already see several types of applications that are already scheduled as the default. Uh, you'll notice some of mine have changed because I use Google Chrome a lot. Uh, but by default, as you notice, like for instance, uh, we'll say the photo viewer will automatically open photos in the photo app uh, by default but you can change them in any way you want so for example if I wanted to change my default web browser for instance what you would do is left click here on Google Chrome under web browser and you're gonna get the pop-up now these are currently installed on my system so that's why they already popped up uh, obviously you might have less or more depending on the browser of choice and you would just okay so I wanted to make it Firefox left click on Firefox and it'll do it automatically but obviously I'm gonna keep with Google Chrome and simple as that boom and uh, it basically gives you uh, the main apps, videos, photos, music, maps, your email, and web browser. Uh, and you can change them like so in here. Uh, for uh, anything else, um, what we would want to do, uh, you can do next is uh, change default apps by file type. So if I, uh, if you notice the links here uh, also say choose default apps by protocol and set defaults by app uh, so we'll just go quickly through them so if we do uh, set default by app for instance I'll left click on it like so you're gonna get a pop-up like here uh, which is more like the classical interface from before um, we'll just wait for it to load for a second although why it's taking so long there we go uh, once you're uh, in the set default programs window under programs you can scroll through here you'll notice that I'm scrolling with the wheel to my mouse uh, and for instance if I wanted to click on one so I'm gonna say click on Google Chrome and you're gonna get two options here choose defaults for this program and set this program as default now obviously if I click set this program on default it will set the program to open all file types and protocols that are associated with web browsing for instance in the case of Google Chrome if I was to go to say maps the Windows Maps application same thing now if you click on choose defaults for this program you're gonna get options like this select all this will tell you the different type of protocols can open but that could get a little bit tricky so we want to kind of stay away from that and that's all there is to it to set your default programs b open by app uh, you can also choose default apps by file type which I'll check click on right now and you're gonna see the name of the file type so for instance if it's a type of zip file or I'm just gonna keep scrolling down for a second here 
uh, Microsoft Access file, images, videos, you're going to notice that the corresponding f um, file type is going to have the application here that's going to open it. If you would like to change it, you simply, all you have to do is left click on it. I'm just going to use this as an example. See, there's only can be open with Access because that's all I have, so we don't have to worry. But for the purpose of this, I'm just going to go down to a familiar document uh, type that we're usually used to seeing. Bear with me a second. And wherever it is, oh, maybe you know what? And just to see, so you can see all the different types. So I'm going to choose a video player uh, file, uh, MPEG-4, one of the more newer ones. And if I click on it here, VTLC Media Player is the only application I have to open it. Now, if I had other uh, movie clip files that could open it, like see here, Windows Media Player uh, will open MPEG. Now, if I click on here, I can actually switch this to VLC or the recommended app for Windows 10 and you would just click on it left click like so and it would be done now I'm not making trying to make changes to my system but just giving you an idea of how you would do it and last but not least you can choose your default apps by protocol um, if you want to gain more control over how your computer handles certain specific requests, i.e. having a Gmail open up on a web page when clicking an email address, uh, this is where you would find it. Uh, as you can see, same principle as in the other file type or uh, choosing default apps by file type, sorry. Uh, you can see right here, same thing, which one it's going to open in. And you do it would do the same thing depending on uh, what you need to do. Now obviously I wouldn't fool around too much with protocol ones or uh, by file type usually setting defaults by app or the few main ones uh, and you're good to go. Uh, now also uh, for any reason if you would like to revert back to all the default stock Windows 10 apps all you have to do is left click on this reset button right here and you're good to go and uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial on setting default programs in Windows 10 made simple uh, please like this video uh, if you do and subscribe to my channel to get video more videos like this and uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a great day